Whoa, do you feel that? What's that, lad? Anything, e everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Careful, lad. I see we're already off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free though. Go through these channels when you're ready. What's the chain in the water for? That'd be a dwarven supply ferry. Said ferry appears to be missing. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. Mom about what you used to do. What did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, oh, God the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are white lines, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know, it is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. Tyr was a friend to the Giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The God of War often advocated for the Giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Come on. There's gotta be a faster way to get down there. Gotta be some way to turn the wheel 
fuck you. If he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. Ground. Earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Think you can reach the wheel from here? Oh, wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spotify? I lied. Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Bumble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Oh! 
Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Trade Mars Brassard, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Rock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. This place is wrecked. And yes, I am staying alert. There are probably tons of those Grim around. Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to neither of them. Brother, look! That strange bugger popped back out of the ground again! It's too fast! 
Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. <clears throat> There. There's gotta be another chain to lower the gate. Yeah. Hey. That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. Lad, if I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? Hmm. Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. You think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, Lyle. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavellia, brothers. Hey, more! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body, and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. How is that for us, though? They are scared. It was definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Hey, could we talk? 
talk to you for any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. The building really are <laughs> the detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for our replacement. Taking advantage of certain material. Ow. Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things oh, in action. Uh. Take aim at that gate there, but before you loose, say, Skialfa. Skialfa. Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies. <laughs> Sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive.
A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to less subtle me. Find you! Look out! <laughs> This looks promising, right? That's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talk. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there. And you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head! I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here. Please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Mimir, are you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts.
taking a break before visiting Durlin? Very wise. He can be... One of the mining rigs is here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. Wow, there's a lot to explore here. Kinda nice to be out of Midgard for a bit, huh? One Raven down. Chock a block with materials that could help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process. If the dwarves agreed to the deal with Asgard. Why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. <laughs> what you just picked up here is pure Spartalfheim ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. <laughs> No, it's still here. What? The island near the geyser. We need to get the key from it and unlock this door. We need, I need, to set right a very old wrong. Bloody drogger holes. We've got to clear out all these undead bastards. <laughs> <laughs> You're on 
on fire, Kratos! It will pass! to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. Look, you can chisel through this door. Glad to see that still works. Nice, nice. Atreus, you are getting better, faster. I'd even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Oh. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything with that yet. Brother! You ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. Hello? There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work with the Aether in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them.
Yeah, we could swing across that uh, place thing. Gantry. Gantry. Thanks. Not quite right. It's gotta be the right spot. Those barrels. I smell fuel. Bet a spark from your blades would cause quite a boom. The dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. The Einher Yar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Can you have convinced them not to? Aye. Impressive.
Oh. You okay, Mimir? To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. What you just picked up there is pure Spartalfheim ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. survived because of you. I am not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Svartalfheim. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Or they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deeds with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't. And do what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? Going through Surtur's gauntlet, it was fun. It was training. You didn't have fun? Hmm. Well, anyway, we should look for the other half of the seed. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads. It's a bear trap. Spawning a little witch is like there's no tomorrow. For her, it will be so. Nasty hit. You all right, brother? 
If you could call so meager a task done, a wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No, but it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Svartalfheim slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. Good thing you learned the runes, brother.
the first time someone's told me that, I suppose. This is the safety office? Well, the sign of hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. We're looking for Derlin? You have an appointment? Uh, no? Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Ready to collect on something, pal? Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get? You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I... I wonder where she went after a little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Rest of them are. One's left alive have to pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin. And free Svartalfheim from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the old father's given name and, uh, yeah, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Play it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. This isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. Ah! 
Right side, right, brother! The dwarf has given us a map. You smell him, but it seems to lead to a mountain. Ah, dear. Erlen helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. Looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. There's a name I don't miss hearing. No one said it until you did, just now. Durlin! He didn't need to say it, brother. It was written all over his face. Uh, well, burned, I should say. Into his head. He burned that into Durlin's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and a bearer of Galahorn. A true believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt.
You know, maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. Seems like Odin really didn't want us to find him. Once Tyr's free, we can be God of War again. Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. Deactivated, but yes. Likely one belonging to Barry, the dwarf, builder of the Great Hall, Lua. Trekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep, definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if... Atreus! Oh, Down there, I can see a mine. That has to be what Darlene was talking about. Tracks up on the left there. Might be another train we can take. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just tears to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. <laughs> Coming from that pillar. Looks like a net. Looks like we have to get this one back 
from the trap. Need to go left. Wait, I meant my left. Keep going. We're so close, just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. Round two. Here we go. Stone. Oh, uh, Diener. Yeah, covered in algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so, we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, we could... Said it, little brother. Your 
Brother! Yeah! 